Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at Bitcoin on the charts and we are gonna see where it might be headed and we will cover both bullish and bearish scenarios as well, just to simply cover all of the different possibilities here. Now, for those of you who love trading and love giveaways as well, I love to give back to my trading affiliates. So I do monthly giveaways in my free community Discord server, which you can find a link to in the description below this video. And all you have to do to be entered in my giveaways is simply join the Discord server, which is free. Um, sign up at the Blowfin Exchange right here with the link in the video description down below this video as well. Deposit funds into your futures account and start trading. It is as simple as that. And at the end of each month, I go ahead and I pick one to three winners out of my affiliates who trade on a regular basis to win the prize. Um, for this current month or for the upcoming month of May, I am giving away $500 in USDT. So that is the giveaway for this month. All right. Now, um, overall here, let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin here. All right, so as you guys can clearly see, we have had a recent big drop. Now, first, before I actually dive deep into this, um, I am not the type of, I'm, I'm a day trader, okay? I do not focus on the daily news, all right? I am not a news trader. I don't trade based on the news. I trade based off of what's in front of me on the charts and what's in front of me based on the levels of basic support and resistance here, okay? Um, so overall here, what we've got, and I have mentioned this in uh, quite a few of my past Bitcoin videos as well within the last few weeks that we would be dropping here, okay? Um, I kind of knew this was already gonna be coming and these big drops have pretty much happened already. Now, what's interesting here that I wanna point out is on the daily chart, all right? On the daily chart, we've got on the daily chart, so far, everything is still bullish on the daily chart, okay? We are literally sitting here within a gigantic bull flag, as you guys can clearly see. Whoops, my lines are all kind of messed up there. Uh, we are in a giant bull flag here, okay, on the daily chart. So that is good news. We are still within this big structure here, so that's awesome. Now, as far as the drop that's happening right now, I saw this coming, as a lot of other people did as well. Um, What's interesting what's happening here is Bitcoin still has not reached the overall bottom of the RSI down here, and I fully expect that to happen here, okay? Now, what's interesting here is I don't know how far down it's going to go, obviously, since I'm not a magician and I cannot see the future and nobody can. All we can do is speculate and figure out where we could potentially go based on price history, okay? And what I'm currently seeing here is, let's see here, we've got this drop right here. Usually when Bitcoin drops on the macro, we usually end up dropping a total of three to four times. Usually it's mostly mostly three times, all right? We've got that first drop and then we've got this second drop right here and we've got this next one starting out as well, all right? Now, here's something that you wanna take notice, all right? With this first big drop, all right, we started at the top here and we went all the way down to here and we dropped around, as you guys can clearly see, 17.85%, okay? So we go ahead and take a look at, the, look at this next big drop, all right? We take a look at this next big drop, we dropped a total of right around 18%, all right? Right around the same amount as the first big drop, all right? So now if we go ahead and measure out the same distance from here all the way down, Let's uh, take a look and see what we get. So if we go ahead and measure from here all the way down to 17 or 18%, that is going to take us right down into this fair value gap right down here, all right? Which is exactly where I have been talking about in my previous Bitcoin videos, okay? I fully expect us to go down between 58 and 52,000, all right? That's not being, me being bearish, okay? That's me being realistic, okay? Um, now. Anything can happen in the crypto market, and this is based purely on speculation and based purely on past price history and past patterns that usually do end up happening. Um, so do not be surprised if we do end up dropping below this bull flag here and going into this fair value gap down here, all right? Because it definitely can happen, and if it does happen, I mean, realistically, that'd be kind of a good thing. It's gonna going to reset all of these indicators on the macro charts, and we are gonna be pretty much set up to be able to, you know, <laughs> go full speed ahead and go up even higher and higher and higher, all right? Which is a very, very good thing. We wanna see that, all right? Now, another thing that could end up happening here is if we don't end up getting a giant 17 to 18% drop from the top here, uh, we could end up just dropping down to the end of the bull flag here and, you know, which is where we dropped to right in these areas too. As you guys can clearly see, we dropped here, 
we dropped here and we also dropped here and we bounced off each and every single time all right now if there's enough momentum down there i would fully expect that we'll end up bouncing off of those sections again all right and if we do end up bouncing off of those sections um realistically i'm hoping that it will be enough to be able to you know start a potential reversal but if not we will probably end up dropping down again further and completing this 17 to 18 percent drop down into the fair value gap right down here okay so overall i know things sound really really bearish um but realistically you guys you gotta keep you, know, you gotta keep a long-term mindset here okay i know there's a lot of people freaking out there's a lot of people selling their coins because they're worried and they're thinking it's going to drop big time um and yeah, that might end up happening, but realistically, long-term, you got to think about the long-term grand, grand scheme of things here, okay? Long-term, things are still bullish. We are still looking bullish here. We are still trading within the big ranges here, okay? I know it's easier said than done, but this is where the overall mindset comes in, okay? So um, let's see here. Overall, uh, realistically, guys, let's go ahead and go ahead and take a look at the overall uh, overall altcoin market cap chart as well all right now the overall altcoin market cap um, altcoin market cap chart um realistically we are sit we are literally sitting here right within this giant range here or within this support level here of right around 606 billion dollars or sorry right around we're just going to say 600 billion dollars okay we're sitting right around in this area and we've got a uh, plenty of good support within this area now what i would like to see happen here is obviously if bitcoin continues to tumble you know hey altcoin market caps are probably going to continue to tumble as well all right but the good thing here to look at is we have got some very very good support levels down here one of which at 559 billion dollars and we've got another one right around you know in this area too sitting here right at like you know 533 billion dollars as well all right now realistically I personally don't see us dropping that far, but it can happen and we can have big drops like that happen. As you guys can clearly see, we had a gigantic drop from all the way up from 742 billion all the way down to, you know, a whole 25% drop all the way down to 559 billion. And that was a huge, huge drop. Okay. Now that can happen again. We just have to keep an eye on everything and we have to, you know, keep a strong mind as far as not letting ourselves get emotional here and sell everything okay because in the grand scheme of things everything is still bullish long term okay again this is not me spreading fud this has nothing to do with fud this has to do with being realistic and since i'm a trader i have to be realistic about capital preservation and me being able to you know figure out where i think things are going to go all right so Overall here, um, before I actually go ahead and wrap this up, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button below the video, and leave me a comment below the video as well on your thoughts on where you personally might think the price is going to go. And with that said, you guys, for those of you who stuck around and watched this whole entire video, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see all of you in my future videos.